Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I am bringing you along on an adventure today. I drove the hour and a half to Dayton, Ohio to the Aldwood Audubon Nature Center, which is behind me. And there are trolls. There are trolls to be found in the woods and I'm bringing you along. Now, I will tell you all about the trolls when we find them. All right. All right, guys, here we go. We're here. And I'm following the trail. Oh, there's a creek. We're gonna go to Bibby, troll number 83. Oh my goodness, how magical is this place? How magical. Okay, we're gonna cross the creek. Try not to get wet. The trolls were created by Thomas Dambo. He's from Copenhagen, Denmark. He's the world's leading recycle artist and has been helping giant trolls come to life around the world for over 10 years. There are three of his trolls at the Allwood Audubon Center. The first troll that we're coming upon is Bibby. She is the youngest troll in the forest. She is the daughter of Bodo and Bo. They told her she couldn't leave the woods, but her imagination ran wild after mysterious giant eggs fell from the sky. So we are coming up on her. She is, as stated, she is the newest of the trolls that has been brought to the Audubon Center. She is magnificent and I can't wait for you to see her. All right, guys, we're gonna go find Bo.
Bravo. We have one more to find. Just thank goodness for signs. Tell my hairdresser, I'm sorry, I'm all sweaty. I got a haircut coming up. It reminds me of the Secret Garden book and the show or movie.
back into the woods. I would love to backpack in here and camp. Don't you think that would be amazing? Nest or Bowdell? Questionable. We're gonna find out. And this is Bowdell. I think this must be the first one he made. And we're gonna leave our token. See if we can get up close to his face. He's on his hands and knees playing with this big thing. Oh my gosh, they're just amazing. And they're made with all recycled materials. He has a bird's nest up in his nose. Which is pretty amazing as well. Yep, there's a bird's nest. Oh, I made it. Woo woo. Okay, let's get a picture and then I can head back to the car. Ah, oh, a little seesaw. And this is part of the farm. I bet you can rent this for like family reunions, picnics. There's a garden. I mean, it's a working farm out here. People live here. I think I have to go this way, yeah. It says, do not feed the animals. I will not feed the animals. I don't even have anything to feed the animals. But yeah, that's an old well house. A little windmill. This place is just amazing. I would love to come out here on a crisp fall day where I'm not sweating to death. But you work with what you got, as my uncle would say. And this was a day off that I had. It's the 3rd of July. It is a Wednesday. So I'm off today, tomorrow. Ugh, allergies. I'll work on Friday and then I'm off for my weekend. So not terrible. And then I get ready for my trip in two weeks. Super excited and of course I will bring you along. Since I don't even know what poison ivy looks like, I'm not touching anything looking like nature, just for the record. Oh, I have to walk past here. I think that's a fairy garden down in there. Walnut trees all over the place. would love to take a little boat ride in that. But nothing for me. All right, this is a little side trail that we're gonna take back to the center because we've seen all three trolls. The lady said that the golden nest was more for children, so we didn't go there. But this is the creek we crossed when we went over the first time. I love water. It's so wonderful out here. Okay. And this is a nice trail to walk back. When I get to the car, I'll let you know how many steps I took and if I did miles. I read, question mark, that it was three miles out and back, which is a great morning walk. Get your blood pumping. But I'm taking a shortcut, so I may have not gotten three miles, which I'm not mad about. 
Oh, it's just like a nature preserve. Oh, it's like the um, the canopy walk. I need to find more Ohio stuff to bring you guys on. Oh, look at the, the pretty flowers. Oh, this is amazing. Another bridge. Oh, another marsh over there. I am right on the money, what time wise. Oh, a butterfly. Oh, I wonder if this is the fairy garden. Or is that a bench? That's a bench. I think I'm gonna have time to stop at an antique store on my way home, which is exciting. Which is why I timed it this way. They just have all these little bodies of water, undisturbed, which I love, with the moss growing on top. Oh no, the children have caught up with me. Ah, oh, lots of people. It's getting busy. I'm glad I came early. Oh, they're doing some construction over here. Or some trees fell. I love it. There's so many benches around. You can just sit if you have time. What's this say? The seeds of flight. How neat. Oh, Orville Wright works. If you don't know, he and his brother, I think it's Orville and Wilbur, were instrumental in inventing flight. And they are from Ohio, which is why our motto is first in flight where North Carolina is where they actually took off. So maybe their first of flight, wherever, I don't know, or something. Oh, a little fairy garden. We are back to the nature center. Well, don't you see this tree? How old it is. Look at that. That's hundreds of years old. Amazing. We have so little nature left in the world. And the nature center. And that, my friends, is everything. That I saw today. Perfect timing. 